every human being has the right to dream, even in the face of humongous odds. Dreaming is still worth the activity because it's what happened to me. I dreamed of being a great football player like the football players that played before me. And I said, if ever I can get into an organized football arrangement, I'm going to be like Kenny Washington. If you look at someone like a Kenny Washington, his story is not just in Los Angeles newspapers. It's picked up in Cleveland. It's picked up in New York. And I think that Kenny Washington especially brings credibility to the Los Angeles Rams. He, in many ways, is an example of how African Americans, through their efforts, not only improved a lot of African Americans, but improved a lot of those that care about professional football. The Rams knew that they'd have to get another black player for Kenny. He couldn't be the only one in the NFL. So they gave him a number of names to choose from, but he didn't want any of those others. He wanted Woody Strode. Kenny said to the Rams, before I sign, I want Woody as my teammate. But Dan Reeves was a racist, and he resented the fact that my dad married out of his race. My dad married a full-blooded Hawaiian in 1940 when it was still against the law to do so. When Dan Reeves bought the Rams, Bob Hope was part of it, and a couple other movie stars were part owners. I don't know whether Dan Reeves was a racist or not, but I do know he didn't go out of his way to prove he wasn't. Kenny Washington had the support of the community and he had the support of the black press, which at that time was a lot more powerful than you might imagine it to be today. So the Rams had to sign Woody Strode. When you think about the fact that Kenny Washington was the man to reintegrate the NFL and his teammate was Woody Strode, it just really seemed so fitting because they both ended up being teammates at UCLA, but they played semi-pro ball with the Hollywood Bears so it's significant when you integrate the NFL years later, there they are together. It had been a struggle to the very end, but in the summer of 1946 in Los Angeles, Washington and Strode were primed to make NFL history.